Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. Today I'm going to the beach. My hair is wild. I do like overnight curls. All right, so outfit of the day. These are my brand new Fierce Forward Jewelry earrings. They just came yesterday, I'm so excited. Then I also have my K2 bracelet that I got from her and my Purpose bracelet. Um, I'm wearing this Tyco t-shirt, Tyco is a band, um, that I got last week. And I might have worn it for a couple hours yesterday, but I'm wearing it again. And then I have cut off shorts from Target. And then these are my shoes that I got um, when I did the Manifestation Babe photo shoot. I'm loving them. And it's funny because I always wanted white shoes. So now I have them. I also have my sand cloud towel. These are the best towels ever. Um, they were on Shark Tank. I think that's how I found them. And then for sun protection, my Burn Boot Camp hat. And it actually has like a ponytail hole at the top. So you can do like a high pony, which I probably will do later. I just want to like enjoy my hair being curly for now. Um, and then sunglasses, of course. So these sunglasses I just got at Target. I forget what brand they are. It was like a name brand. And I've been really loving my Lululemon um, I forget what this is called, but it's like a fanny pack. Um, just so convenient, like, especially like if I walk the dog that I could be hands free and I cannot forget my AirPods. Yesterday, I forgot my AirPods when I went for my manicure and it was like the most boring hour of my life. And it's funny cause I'm watching Michelle Alvarez, her vlog, and she was saying she forgot her AirPods for the gym. And like, I hate that feeling. Like I should just have some extra headphones in my car that like aren't charging ones because that is the worst feeling ever being at the gym with no music <laughs> So obviously we had to stop at Cane's Donuts because that's just what we do. When we go to the North Shore, we do the North Shore things. So I got a special, special dark, which is like a Boston cream, but with chocolate. So yes, this looks amazing. Yes. All right, here we go. It's very fluffy. We have not gotten to the center yet, though. Oh, yeah. That's going to be good. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Skin neck. Cute. Well, I made it here nice and early. It's just before 10, which was my plan. Early bird gets the worm. So right now I'm walking down, there's like a jetty at the end of the street and usually it's like super crowded. So since it's early, I think we're beating the rush. Yeah, it's really not that crowded up here, which is so nice because usually it's like packed with people. You can barely even stand to get a picture without having somebody in it. I mean, it's not like that bad, but it is Sunday, so it's probably going to get busy later. Also, I'm cold right now, which is funny because it's going to be 95 later. All right, so here you have our view. So pretty. There's the jetty. Okay. Get your Rockport swag. We made it to the beach. Here's the boat I took to get here. Isn't it cute? Here I am. It is now filling up a little bit. It's not like crazy, but I can't stop thinking about how when I filled out my parking thing, somehow I like hit the wrong button for my license plate. So I hope that like 
they look and see that I have a ticket till one o'clock because if they're just scanning plates, mine's not gonna come up as paid. So whatever, but I feel like even if I did get a ticket, I could probably fight it like I would just write to them that I messed up the plate or something. So <laughs> it's kind of distracting me a little bit and I was tempted to just pay again on the app because it's really only $4, but I tend to be very lucky. Oh, also, if you've never done like the secret or manifesting, I highly recommend it for parking spots. Like I always get really good parking. I call it princess parking, but literally like I pictured the exact parking spot that I wanted to get here. Cause I like, I come here a decent amount. So like, I know the different areas, like there's this one spot that I parked last summer or the summer before. And it was like super parked up, but there was this random spot that apparently like nobody noticed was there. Cause it was like a random corner and it was in front of a restaurant. Um, so the last time, not the last time I was here, I parked there, but like, whatever. So I remembered parking there. So that was like the exact spot that I was picturing. And when I drove up, I actually didn't see there was a spot cause there was two of them together. And I started to go by and then I was like, wait, no, the spot's there. So the exact parking spot, like as I drove here, the exact spot, parking spot that I wanted was actually available. So highly recommend if you've never tried that before to picture the parking spot that you want to get and like you basically can manifest it and like I've done it so many times like I did it when I took a class at BU the very first day of class I was like really worried about getting a parking spot um because I took a grad class a couple years ago there but I pictured like princess parking and I kid you not I literally got a spot directly in front of the front door that I needed to go in. So it really works. Like I'm not just saying that it actually works. Try it, highly recommend. <laughs> Back at the car after a successful mission. The beach was so nice. Um, it is getting hot and crowded out there. I probably would have enjoyed staying a little longer at the beach while it's hot because going home to the city in this heat kind of stinks, but I feel like I still did the right thing because I got the perfect parking spot and I got in and out. All right, so I went to the store One Ocean and I got this t-shirt, it was on sale, it says no bad days. And then it has a really fun like thing on the back. They hand print everything there. So this actually had like a mistake on the front, but I don't really care. I think cause I'm wearing a gray shirt, it like influenced me. All right, so then this is the back, no bad days. And then I got these beautiful Labradorite earrings from this place called Floating Lotus. They are so cool. Um, so here they are. Oh, one of them fell out. It's like this really pretty stone. I love Labradorite. Um, I was drawn to them and I was like, oh, what stone is that? And as soon as he said Labradorite, I was like, oh, well, I gotta get them. Um, so I am baking in this car. I better turn it on and put the air on. I might stop for a roast beef sandwich because, you know, when I'm up here, I just have to do all the things like, you know, so if I do that, I will let you know. All right, we are going to Kelly's because Nick's is closed. Hi, could I please have a super beef with sauce, cheese, and pickles? Well done. They're going to put that on the grill to make it well done. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. How are they have to do it? Sure. Anything else? Um, could I get a side of the onion rings? Sure. Um, do you still do shakes? We do. Chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, and coffee or any mixture of those. Uh, can I do a vanilla? Sure. And that's all. Salt and ketchup in your bag today. That'd be great. Perfect. $22, four cents. Just pull them. Great. Oh, can I add a barbecue on the side too? Yeah, we'll put some in there. Some the roast beef barbecue or sweet baby rays. Um, the roast beef barbecue. You got it. No problem. Yeah. Thank great. You. Thanks. All right. Here we have onion rings. We have the sandwich. That looks amazing. I'm not even going to film myself eating it because I just want to enjoy it. That was delicious. I am so full. I did not even need the onion rings or shake, but it's like something comes over me. I can't help it. Um, so I had my sandwich. I had like half of the onion rings. I literally took like one sip. 
of the milkshake. But it's here and I have my coffee cup from my iced coffee. So it's keeping, hopefully keeping it coldish till I'm ready because I need some more room in me before I can attempt that. All right, so next stop, I'm going to see if I can go to the booby, booby, <laughs> booty by Brave Ants store in Linfield perhaps and to the Burlington Mall because they have a Fabletics. I've never been to that Fabletics, but I need to return my Yiddy stuff. Um, I did a Yiddy video for the shapewear from Fabletics and I just don't see myself wearing it. It's like, I didn't like hate it or anything, but I just don't see myself like wearing it. And I spent a lot of money and not only that, but they actually ended up making outfits out of the stuff after. So that's like annoying. I hate when they do that. So those are my next couple stops. If there's anything interesting, I will definitely show you. Booty store. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe for more. Give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video soon. Have a great day. Stay positive. Bye.